Here we are in the ocean biome of Biosphere 2, a research facility north of Tucson, Arizona. What the biosphere represents is a self-contained ecosystem. Biosphere 2, of course, refers to this man-made structure. But Biosphere 1 is the Earth itself, which is a self-contained ecosystem hurtling through space. Welcome, my name's Chris Impey. I'm a professor of astronomy and associate dean at the University of Arizona. And this is a massive open online class, or MOOC, on astrobiology. So the topic is the search for life in the universe. Is this situation you see here with water and rocks and living creatures and life forms, is this unique in the universe, only on this planet? Or can we find these situations elsewhere? Astrobiology is asking one of the biggest questions in science, are we alone in the universe? Not just are we alone as intelligent species, but are we alone as living in a biological world? Evidence is, as you'll see, that there are many, many living planets elsewhere in the galaxy and the universe. Billions, perhaps. Less certain is how many of those planets have life on them, especially intelligent life. Water is essential for life, as far as we know it. Biologists don't know exactly how to define life, but they almost always say it needs carbon as a basis for forming complex molecules, and water as a medium for complexity and, and for life to evolve and, and persist and become more complex. Is that stability, that sweet spot for life where it does have to be habitable zone, which implies between freezing point of water and the boiling point of water. So the earth represents a sweet spot, water is a sweet spot, and, and these are lessons, of course, we see at the biosphere as well as on our whole planet. So we'll look at all of these questions, including the extremes of life on this planet and the possibility that life exists even in the solar system, as well as on distant Earth-like worlds. Towards the end, we'll ask the more difficult question of whether intelligent and technological civilizations exist, whether we're alone in the sense of having pen pals, people we can communicate with, and convey our situation in the universe, and they do the same to us. Astrobiology is highly interdisciplinary. It's based on astronomy, but it also involves geology, planetary science, and of course, biology and chemistry. So we'll look at a lot of topics along the way. I hope you'll join me for this exciting journey into life in the universe.